All right, Tesla CEO Elon Musk last week bought Twitter for $44 billion. Apparently, he has big plans for Twitter, including eliminating ads, fighting spam bots, authenticating all humans, and making the Twitter algorithm open source. But the biggest change expected is he's expected to make Twitter what he calls a politically neutral digital town square for the world's discourse. Basically, it's been sounding like lying, misinformation, bullying, and inciting riots will be all good again. So my question to start things off, do we think Musk's concept of free speech is the right thing for social media? Let's start with Mario on this one. Do you think free speech, his, his thoughts on free speech is the right thing for social media? So are his concepts of free speech. So free speech on itself is different. His concepts of free speech. So I, when I was reading <laughs> the article, I think like who he's connecting with and who is supporting this process for him were very much right wing conservatives, right? Like way, right? I think like there's definitely a leaning in where he's standing, what what his purpose is, it feels like, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's it's obviously to be seen, but I think it's it's a use of power and money. I mean, it all comes down to that again, right? Like to to allow for um, some dangerous things in in Twitter, right? I mean, that, that that's it. That's all I've got. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. my it's a let me wrap up how I feel about it real quick. Okay. So the world, one of the world's richest men now has rockets for space travel, a fleet of communication satellites, and owns one of the biggest social media platforms out there. He can influence, shape the narrative how he wants. He can mine the data to his advantage. Elon is looking out for Elon, and this is scary. With that being said, I welcome our new overlord, and I'm so grateful to be using <laughs> yeah. his internet. <laughs> <No problem>. um, <laughs> but I mean, this no, is a it's... tech oligarch who now has an amazing amount of power, especially because he's he can now help shape and control the narrative. I just want to say, I, I, he did try to clarify his thoughts on free speech. He says, uh, by free speech, I simply mean that which matches the law. I am against censorship that goes far beyond the law. If people want less free speech, they will ask government to pass laws to that effect. Therefore, going beyond the law is contrary to the will of the people. So, Lizzie, what do you think? You know, before this, honestly, I guess I really didn't know that much about Elon Musk, aside from the fact that he owned Tesla and that he gives his kids with, what's her name, Grimes? Weird name. Other than that, I had no idea before last week that he was born in South Africa, um, that he had several siblings, that um, he has not just the two kids with Grimes, but he has also at least four other kids with his first wife. Um, so there's a lot going on with this guy that I, I just did not know, didn't care to know. Like, he, he was just not on my radar. Um, but as it relates to, you know, him, his purchase of Twitter, I think people forget like, yeah, we can be up in arms about it, right? But Twitter is a private company, unfortunately. So he's well within his right to buy it. That, that doesn't mean that that's a good thing, but there's nothing we can do about him purchasing Twitter. Um, now, as people who may- There is something Twitter, you can do. You can switch platforms. You can just leave Twitter. If you let me, if you let huh. me finish, right. as folks who use Twitter, you could choose not to use, like I, I, I only have a Twitter account because I'm, I'm always, I work in media, so I'm forced to, but I don't tweet a lot. If I tweet, I, I retweet stuff. I really don't write a lot of tweets, but you know, you cannot use Twitter. There are other forms of media, social media out there where you can get your point across, right? Um, I do think that he has an agenda, you know, um, he's made it clear, you know, he's no longer a Democrat, which may not be a bad thing, you know, um, but I do think he has an agenda. And I do think that this can be dangerous, especially since he tends to be, you know, a little friendly with the orange top that we know as Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> right. like, it's weird, we don't really know his politics. 
He like, thinks he's Tony Stark, but he's more Lex Luthor. And I will, re I will refer people back to the images he made disappear when he was balding towards early college, oh. late high school. Oh. Elon. Oh, Elon I didn't made see, those I pictures disappear from things. the internet. I don't know these yes. things. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I know he does. He, he says that he um, has Asperger's. And now that I think about it, if that is true, I can see it. I could see yeah. it in the way he presents himself. Um, mm -hmm. I do think this is dangerous, but this is what is a product of a capitalist society, mm -hmm. right? You make a whole bunch of money and you can do whatever you want. So it's up to the people. The if you don't want Twitter to be a force, to have a voice in social media, now that Elon Musk has taken over, don't use it. Yeah, I'm Don't curious. Do you think the uh, Do you think that he is going to be okay with the bullying and the misogyny and the attacks on? Um... Do I think he would even recognize it? No, I don't think well, he would even speech. recognize it. Yeah, that's the freedom to say think, whatever you want to say. Yeah. I don't think he would recognize it. I don't think he would acknowledge it unless it is um, in his direction, right? If people mm -hmm. are talking about or dogging or downing him. But the rest of us, why would so you? So Twitter is going to be just open, open to all of that. So I, long as it does, as it doesn't honestly, infringe on harassment laws. So laws. long, as, so long as they stay out of exactly out of the legal spectrum. But then there's still those challenges that you can make on the legal side. I still think that Twitter engages in that. Like Twitter isn't a safe haven. None. Oh, I think None Twitter. I, I think Twitter is very dangerous and detrimental to a lot of people, especially young people, especially women, especially minorities, especially LGBTQ community. I mean, you know, I, I think it's a dangerous place. Are you trying to get I, in there? Okay. No, go ahead, Mario. Yeah, I just, I, I was just thinking, like, I think for me, the fear is the combination of someone who has that much money and that much knowledge and understanding of AI. Like, to me, it's that artificial intelligence it's that control of information and knowledge like yeah. that's beyond what is he going to allow but also what is the algorithm going to create who are going to get the messages what are the messages like it's it's deep it's deep it's like programming of society and i yeah. think that he found an outlet through his financial means because he has them and he has that power and control to to start that that's scary that to yeah. me is frightening i will say i do like a lot of his other likely changes like making sure you're verified as a human and you're not bots and you're no i you know i, I think some of those things are going to be <clears throat> valuable but outside of that i think i'm really worried about it's just going to be an unsafe platform um i think twitter was trying was probably trying better than um other platforms uh but with that being said uh you know I don't think they were really trying because look, they never shut down Chris Teigen, who was harassing and bullying a young lady, telling her to kill herself. So, yeah. fuck Twitter. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, Lizzie is not using Twitter for sure. <laughs> <laughs> only Jack for work. Only for work. Only. Jacqueline for work. Robinson says it might be a private company, but I'll be damned if I pay a subscription fee to use it. Um, yeah. Elon wants to well, shut that's down. That's another thing. Is he gonna make us pay? Is he gonna make us pay? To he, use he was Twitter? talking about. So I, what I was reading is he was talking about making it free, but for extras and things like that. He was gonna. It was gonna be a separate subscription model. So yeah, if, no ad revenue, and if you're gonna post a tweet, then you have to pay. Yeah, if you want longer tweets that tweet. or something like that. He doesn't yeah. make enough money already, right? Let's yeah. just fleece everybody. Or if you're posting everything. images, maybe you might have to pay to pay, be able to post image. It's unclear what he was gonna, but he's the subscription model is gonna be a a free version as well as a subscription model for additional extras. Um, Jack and Robinson also says Elon wants to shut down criticism of himself. And wants to open the mm -hmm. door to allowing uh, uh, Trump and his followers back onto Twitter, which is what I think it was more of a play for. Uh, <laughs> Gianni says, <laughs> Elon Flux. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys know the reference for Elon. Elon Flux? Yeah, it was a great French cartoon. <laughs> yep. um, Mike Winter says he has no idea how much money that will cost him without the protections of 230. What is 230? Not sure what two thirty is. 
Anybody? No. Nope. Okay. Um, Ade Boyega says, uh, "Time to bring black, <laughs> bring back Black Planet." Yeah, I, I don't, I wasn't very familiar with Black Planet. What is Black Planet? Was that uh, a big black Twitter planet. platform? It was Black Planet. Was just a. It was a platform specifically. It was like um, MySpace, was it like but black, for Black people. Was it like Black Twitter? It was yeah, like not quite Twitter, Twitter, but Twitter. similar. Yeah, in the essence of it was the original social so, dude, media of MySpace. I never got it. I never got an invitation for that. <laughs> you didn't get an fuck. invitation to Black Planet. I, you know, I meant to send it to you when I was on there, but you know, <laughs> which I, I never had a Black there. Planet account. <laughs> One thing to consider as people keep bringing up Trump, you know. The next election year is only two years away. Yeah. And so this is very interesting That's going I think into it's a big the play next for it. general election in this country. Hmm. Daria Winner says, you cannot pick what will be good and what will be bad. It comes as a whole package. He should have been Agreed. disqualified from ownership. Interesting. Agreed. But I mean, you know, you can't disqualify him if it's a, pri if it's a private company. Like, who disqualifies him? Who would disqualify him? And uh, you know? again, Gianni agrees with you, Mario. All right, is this truth, lies, truth, or lies, shenanigans? <laughs> what is it? This is a tough one. This is, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's, I think it's going to be it. shenanigans, but it's, it's, truth, it's so hard to say. No. So I will say this. I, have, I, need I have control. appreciate this topic because it forced me, you know, to, again, I knew nothing about Elon Musk. And it forced me to look up his background, you know, as um, part Afrikaner, part Canadian. I think his mom is from Canada. Um, but, you know, his dad was a racist Afrikaner, Afrikaner in South Africa. So there's a lot of history with this guy. There's a lot of history with this guy that I find fascinating. Mike Winter says, Rob, you can come to the barbecue. <laughs> Ade, Boyega, uh, Ade Boyega says, midterms are later this year. <laughs> Shenanigai, shenaniganized truth is what he's calling it. Shenaniganized <laughs> truth. I'm not as worried about the midterms as I am. I am. Um, I mean, I, I am expecting. I didn't say I wasn't. I said I'm not as worried okay. as I am about 2024. Yeah. Um, because I think there are a lot of forces that still, you know, have been drinking that Kool Aid. Mm -hmm. and um, don't have the populace's best interest at heart. Yeah. Totally, totally agree with you guys.